Help for the Hungry, coming from a student-centered organization. The group's members called it the Bubble City Community Project. Here they are, in their own words, through the lens of a photojournalist, Isabella Mendez. And the chunky. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, whatever. She's... <laughs> Sir. <laughs> she has fixed her belt. So the Bubble City Community Project is a student service organization that's largely focused on affordable housing and people struggling with homelessness. We also tackle food insecurity. We have a PB&J event every other Friday and we make PB&Js. And then that following Saturday, we distribute them. And then we also have a separate team of volunteers that pick up trash in the Overtown area. My name is Maya Rokey Friedman and I'm the president of the Bubble City Community Project. Uh, every other week on Friday, we have student volunteers come in and we assemble sandwiches. We have peanut butter, um, we have one assembly line for peanut butter and one assembly line yeah. for jelly. And uh, we make typically about over 100 sandwiches. Last time we made 305 sandwiches and we make them, we package them up, um, we put little notes in them, uh, just little like, you know, loving messages, little encouraging messages, things like that. And also just labeling Bubble City on them as well. On Saturdays, we have our cleanups, and so there we go and we distribute the food. We have people distributing food and then another team picking up trash because actually in that area, there's not really enough trash cans. So we go and just, that's also part of like the sustainability part of our, of our mission. Um, so we have two groups doing that. But when we go there, I think typically some people may be on, maybe on the first glance, people might be on edge to go to Overtown or to interact with people experiencing homelessness because they don't know if their safety is going to be threatened or they just may feel on edge, like I said before. But when I've gone, everybody's always been super kind. They're, they're people, at the, they're human at the end of the day. So no one's ever been rude to me. Um, no one's ever made me really feel uncomfortable. I've honestly only really had positive experiences. And so interacting with them always feels really good because they're just people expressing their gratitude and, and it's just good to interact with them and get to know them. Yes, my name is Clifton Perry. I'm uh, from North Carolina, and I moved to New Orleans, stayed for a little while, but transferred over here to uh, Miami. I think it's a blessing to come through and spend, you know, people to take time out of their busy lives to come through, like the streets, to pay attention to people that's less fortunate with no homes and give back. I think that's awesome. Do you have any spare bags? On the days of our cleanups, we also go to a community fridge in Overtown, and that's a part of a network of fridges. There's something called Buddy System MIA, and they have fridges basically all over the Miami area. Um, what BC does, if we have any excess PB&Js, any food or any donations that maybe I have or other people have, we go and we put them in the fridge, and there's also a little pantry right next to it. At the end of the day, it may feel like sometimes we're not making that much of a difference, but when I take a step back and I look and I reflect at what we're doing and, and the impact that we are making, I, I think that makes me realize, okay, I think we are making some sort of positive change or at least touching somebody's life in a positive way. And it just feels really good to do that with my peers and, and with the community around me.